Jenny is a Flutter visual novel engine. It's based on Flame. You can have multiple choices here. And the storyline can continue or you can branch it. You can also switch the scene. In addition to Android, you can also run Jenny within a browser. You can also run it in iOS, the desktop versions of Windows, Mac, and Linux. The dialogue is based off the yarn spinner language. So if you wanted to change a piece of text, it's in a separate file here. You can have multiple files. So you could easily just change the story here. We'll save it and then we'll do a hot restart and the language will be right there. And we click on it, it'll go to the next line. If you click on it, we'll go to the next line. So this arrow here is a option. So it's a branch. So in choice one, which is this first arrow here, in choice two is the second arrow here. And so you go to the branches. Using the yarn spinner language, you can also set up variables. For example, on line 13, have a variable for love interest and you can also place an operator so as we're going through the game he may reach a decision here which affects the interest between the two protagonists if he selects choice two he'll have a minus 10 here for obvious reasons but he could redeem himself if uh, he wants to go on a date with her and he'll set it back to zero So he's at minus 10 and he's at minus 10, but he doesn't actually want to go out with her. So it's going to zero out when he gets to uh, Monica. So it's a new, new date. And then we can write the dialogue out. The documentation for Jenny is on the flame site here. So you go here and other modules and then there's Jenny and it's fully documented. It's based on the Yarn Spinner language. Yarn Spinner right now, I think it only officially works on Unity. So one of the great developers over at the Flame team uh, developed Jenny for Dart. And so because of that, we can use it in Flutter and the Flame game engine. If you're interested in this type of tutorial, uh, give the video a like. And I'll, if, we, uh, see, if I see some interest, I'll start some tutorials on this. and. Also subscribe to the channel so that when, if I do make the videos for the tutorial step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough, you can get a notification of it. Have a great day.